It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Why'd you have to leave so soon, yeah? Why'd you have to go? Why'd you have to leave me when I needed you the most? Cause I don't really know how to tell you Without feeling much worse I know you're in a better place But it's always gonna hurt Carry on And that's it Time to say goodbye to Japan That's it I've just uh, prayed Maghrib in Masjid as Salam here and I need to go to the hotel and pick up my stuff and go to the airport um, It's mad when you think about the time difference because I'm here, it's Maghrib time here And by lunchtime tomorrow, inshallah, I'll be back in London, inshallah um, But yeah, let me take you guys with me So on the way here, I flew first class, alhamdulillah On the way back, I'll be going business So let me show you how that is The journey starts at Narita Airport, one of two main airports in Tokyo. Still very quiet as tourists haven't arrived yet. In compensation for not having a business lounge, they gave me a meal voucher, which I use for gifts. I actually reviewed these new first class lounges by Emirates in a future video, look out for that. First up, Dubai. You get access to the business class lounge in Dubai with your ticket. And definitely the main attraction here is having somewhat of a bed to rest at and also unlimited amount of food. Not forgetting of course access to a shower essential during your transit. You're also able to directly board your flight from the business class lounge. Final flight before we reach home, let me take you through the cabin itself. There's plenty of space to store your bags. You also get a couple of cushions, a duvet, complimentary drinks on arrival, as well as your own set of noise cancelling headphones to watch whatever you like on the huge entertainment unit right in front of you. The main appeal of course is the ability to stretch your legs all the way to the back when your seat goes completely flat so that you can sleep. Alhamdulillah, the meals are always 10 out of 10 and of course always halal, that's why I always go for Emirates. And if you still feel hungry, there's also access to a bar anytime during the flight where you can get any mocktails you like, as well as lots of different sandwiches and sweet treats. Touchdown, London Heathrow. The final perk of this ticket is direct chauffeur service straight to your door. Thank you for joining me on this trip and I'll see you on the next one where I'll finally reveal the next series. Stay tuned. Assalamu alaikum.